welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Bridget. My name behind the camera is The Beard. And I'm sorry about this video. You're getting the latter half of it because I tried to make it earlier. And I don't quite think it worked because I had my phone and not the beards. Daddy, but Daddy, me there's monsters saying daddy, you know, mom life. But Daddy. I'm making a potato soup today because it was requested by a friend of mine that I make it with my recipe. So that is what I'm doing. So, Daddy, happy. I will look at the footage of this video and see. <laughs> <laughs> I will look at the video footage from earlier and see if I can use it. And if not, this is what you get. I'm sorry. It's life. But anyway, so in my crock pot, which is my pioneer one crock pot, I will look the mess in this because that's what happens when you cook. I have eight um, potatoes. They were peeled and cubed, and they're soaking in water in about a one and a half onions and four cubes of beef broth. But this is what I use. This is the members mark. It was like eleven dollars. We got it a couple months ago, but I threw like three or four cubes of this in there to help flavor it. I also put some well. Yeah. Some of this that tried to kill me in it. I put in some adobo and some garlic powder and some salt and then Devo tried to you know, kill me, but that's okay. So, I cooked up a pack of bacon and then I just shredded it, you know, whatever. Ow, just hot. And I'm gonna throw it in here with the soup. And I ate a couple pieces, so that's not exactly a pack, but I was hungry and I can't eat this because flour makes me sick. Gluten allergies. So anyways, there's that. I'm just going to stir this in. And you can see what it looks like. I put eight potatoes and then I put six cups of water in there. Cooked it on high, well low for about three hours and a half for the last two because we decided we were getting hungry. But so now I'm going to make the roux to put in there, but I need milk. Oh, um, so I'm just going to turn this back on, get a whisk. I don't know what to you. And I might just use a fork. Correction, using a fork. Okay. Oh, never mind. Found it. I'm actually gonna let the beard do this part. Ooh, we're switching off the beard. So, I have to look around. Now. So, he's just pouring flour into the pan right now, stirring it up with the bacon grease that we just got out. Use your judgment on this, you know, how thick you want it. Just whisking away the bacon grease and the flour, and then he'll put some milk in it in a second. And I'm also using my new Piner Woman frying pan that the beard got me for Christmas. He got me the whole set, so super excited. The beard's the best. He gave you a thumbs up, but I don't think you could see it, so. You can see it now. Okay. And goes the milk. And you just want to start till it's really thick. You can add more flour, add less flour. So that's really good right there. And then he's pouring it into the soup. Oh, God. Okay. Now I'm going to turn off my oven. And he is mashing that a little bit. Here, I'll get the potato masher and do that, honey. He is so messy. And 
Now I'm taking three cups of cheese and pouring it in. It's just a Mexican blend, but you can really use whatever you want. I'm actually going to get a potato masher and lightly mash these. You can make it as soupy as you want or as chunky as you want. It's really up to you. But this is what it's going to look like once you get it all worked in. You can serve this with a, with a big dollop of sour cream as well. That's what we do. Except for I can't eat any of it. And I'm going to throw some chives in because we like chives. Just the freeze dried chives. It gives it a little extra, you know. And then when you serve it, serve it with a dollop of sour cream. And that is all you have to do to make potato soup. But you can also add celery in it if you want. We don't just because the boys are picky and they won't eat it. But anyway, it was super simple. Potatoes, onions, bacon, bacon grease, flour, milk, and spices. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in my next video.